All right, here we are. Hello, Arthur. Oh no, Jack is missing. Um, so what is the what does this do? Oh, it changes your view. All right, so we can play first person if we want. Make it feel even more like Skyrim, but I don't want to do that. Good morning, Arthur. Stew is currently being prepared. Check again afternoon. How's it going, Dutch? Dutchy boy, greet you. Feels like we're back on track, more or less. Yep, money and food. Now everyone needs to keep it coming. For sure. Alrighty then. We will keep it coming indeed. Um. So is the stew over here? Morning. What we got over here? Good morning. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Hmm. Ah, uh, so we need... Oh, okay. I see. Um, oxide rug. Ooh. Oh, that, that, that would be cool. We gotta get a perfect ram carcass. All right. Thanks, Pierce. Oh. Uh, yes. Go ahead and auto save. Auto save. You are allowed to auto save. Maybe. I about to hold it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. Let's look at the map here. What do we want to do here? We got a mission here for Uncle, or we can head into town. To meet Reverend Swanson. This in, I'm guessing this is in town. To meet Latinic Swanson, or we can go way up here to meet up with Javier. Uh, well, Uncle's right here, so let's go talk to Uncle and see what Uncle wants. Uh, where's Uncle at? Over here. There's my horsey. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> Good morning, Hosea. You were right about this place. Good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Thanks. All right. Where is Uncle at? Is Uncle out in the woods? What is he doing out in the woods? What is this old fool doing? Oh, here he is. He's in the... Oh, he's laying up against the wagon. Hey! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a wow. strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Seems like a you solid gig. Head into town, see if we can find anything out. Oh, sure, I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. House chores need done. Come on, man. Arthur cer certainly not going to do them. It's 1899. It's not 2018. Valentine. Very embodiment of civilization. Ladies are going to love it. Okay then, let's go. All right, out through the trees here, then take a left. All right, here we go. Yeah. Let's pick up the pace here, though. Ain't trying to go slow as molasses here. Music. Alright, that's enough.
Oh boy. Can we can we please not do this the whole ride? Hey look, another wagon. Who's that? Oh shoot. Can I help you, sir? Very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. I'll help him out. I'll be a, I'll be a good Samaritan. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Yeah, I'll help you. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. All right. Hey, horsey. Easy, easy. Come here, you stupid horse. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for this. I'm trying to go into town. I'm just trying to be nice. I got a shire. All right. We got him or her, whatever the whatever this horse's gender might be. Should I bother? Should I try and check? I don't think I'm gonna try and check. Got to talk with his accent as always when we're playing a a game about rooting and tooting. Can we like hustle up a little bit though? Good horse. Here. Here you go. You heard gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. Uh, actions the world really. impact your honor level and how people in the world interact with you. Positive actions will make you more honorable. Well, well anyway, thank you. you are certainly welcome. Look at us getting becoming honorable. Honorable members of society. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old That's not how you go. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We've arrived in town. I don't know. what Is this Valentine? What town is this? It is that we're in Valentine, okay. Or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. It's probably uncle, if we're being honest. It's probably uncle. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Wow. Someone doesn't okay. like somebody. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's slow down. We'll go uh, we'll go cruising speed, kinda get a good look at our surroundings here. Got some nice houses. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Part of, <laughs> uh, uh, oops, <laughs> might have pulled my gun on someone because I gotta get used to this not being driving controls. You know how L2 is normally like break when you're driving in video games? Yeah, I, I, no, don't, don't do that. Let's try that again. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. All okay. right. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's office. 
Alright, we've got a doctor. A gunsmith, law office. A lawyer. What do you need a lawyer for out here in the wild, wild west? Barber. Got meals, rooms, a saloon. It's a, a bank, a hotel, a general store. Alrighty then. And a blacksmith and farrier. And a train. A stupid... <sighs> stupid trains. Hang on. Let me mute my mic. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. All right, let's go. So Follow an uncle. See yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. You're my favorite parasite. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very ah. Funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Alright, we'll go on in. Lead the way. So, I was going to shock me. Purchased well, directly from shelves by looking at the item and holding a square. Whiskey for a start. I you was know, hoping to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there. Got yeah, cigarettes, got some chewing tobacco. Cigars. Guarma rum. Gin. Kentucky bourbon. Awful. Awful, awful. Got some awful, awful. Um, get some Kentucky bourbon. Let's, let's examine it first. Make sure it, it looks kosher. I don't know. Slightly damages health core, moderately resourced stamina core, and dead eye core. I mean, you gotta have some bourbon, right? So we might as well buy some. We got we got some money here to spend. Uh, so chewing tobacco. Let's get a cigar. You feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders. Slightly damages stamina core, greatly restores dead eye core. Okay. Let's buy let's buy one of these. Buy a nice cigar. What we got here? We got bread rolls, sorted biscuits, we got baked beans, canned sweet corn, canned peaches, we got crackers, ground coffee, canned salmon. What else we got? We got some hair pomade. I think it's like hair gel. Right. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Apply the hair to slick back. Yeah, we'll we'll get some of this. Why not? Is that all, is that all that's on this shelf? What's up there on on the top there? Nothing. Okay. Uh, what we got over here? Got some. Looks like some candy, some chocolate. What's the chocolate bar do for us? Moderate restore stamina core and slightly restores dead eye core. We'll get some chocolate. Maybe you give it to maybe get to give it to little Jack Marston when we get back to camp. Oat cakes, horse reviver. That might be something worth getting. Okay. Pocket watch. I think we already have one of those. Cover scent lotion. Gun oil. What's gun oil do? Keeps your gun condition well maintained. Oh, we should probably get some of that. Alright, what else we got? Corn, carrots, apples, pears. Uh, let's get some corn. We'll get some, we'll get, buy a little bit of, buy a couple carrots. 
get some corn. Maybe we'll we'll give that to the uh, the community for cooking. And got some some bait of various sorts. Let's buy some bait. Predator bait. Herbivore bait. Anything else? All right, let's go. Should we speak to the uh, the shopkeep? Let's sell some stuff, why don't we? While we're here, because I'm sure we got some things to sell that we don't need. Um, oh, we can't sell that pocket watch. Huh. Okay. Well then, uh, I'll see you later, Mr. Shopkeep. Guess we'll browse the catalog. Provisions, tonics, ammunition, horse care. Horse medicine. Restore this is probably the best way better way to shop. <laughs> Fully restores horse health and fortifies slightly. Fortifies moderately. Um, how much is this? Three dollars. Let's buy one of these. And we'll buy one of these. And we already got the horse survivor. Uh, we got clothes. What do we got for, uh, for hats? Got a Panama hat, a Trilby hat. Man, these are nice hats. Stalker hat, military scout hat, worn flat cap, western hat. We're going to have to come here hat shopping sometime. Alright, let's head on out. We'll have to remember this for uh, when we want to come shopping some other time. Thank you for uh, thank you for doing business with me. Pleasure doing business with you, shopkeep. I didn't take you long to start you're, drinking. You're good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. Sounds like a robin opportunity. Ads in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. Means they're it's probably getting caught. There's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Hey. Let's defuse the argument. Off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Who might you be? What exactly. You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right Go now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. No problem, Tilly. I have saved the day. I'm an honorable man. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Alright, what do we got going on in here? Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm looking for... I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in two B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. 
Ah, all right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for your help. I'll just be I'll just be going upstairs and finding my friend and getting out of your hair. No trouble now, please. Should we walk in on whoever's in here? Oh, the door's locked. That's too bad. All right. We got 2B. Paid for? Hey! There you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. For I what? Paid her, you goddamn animal. Come huh. on. I stayed out of my way. What you want to play that some more? Trying to play him? Not very well. You did not put up much of a fight. Okay. Fine. You sure? You got 82 cents. Wow. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. You know, you think since we find a, a nice place like this, we might not want to rob them blind because then we have to move Thank again. You, I don't much like being saved. Like maybe you should just when invest, be, start a business. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like well, it. shoot. Me neither. That's a, we got a problem. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. yeah. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Where'd he go? Come here, you son of a gun. Should we lasso him? Let's get my lasso out. Well, perhaps I should help this poor man. Listen here, buddy. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Now, why would I do such a thing? You were trying to get me caught for being... You know what? I'm feeling nice. All right, come on. I'm feeling generous today. Now you start spreading lies about me again, I will find you and I will put a you bullet okay, through buddy? your head and a bullet through your uh, butt. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, I thank you kindly. That's very kind of you. <laughs> thank you kindly. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I kill people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. Good answer. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. And I got my little journal, my little diary. I haven't. Not, not one lick. 
Not one sense in this here old mine. That's a good thing. I saw something to pick and examine. You have a nice day now, sir. Well, we completed a mission. Oh, it's raining. That's what that. I'm hearing a noise, and I'm like, oh, it's raining. It's the rain falling on my my window AC unit. Yeah. All right, Jimmy Brooks, I will remember you. <laughs>